Or how do you think you would see uh, uh, the ad driving traffic directly to the product page versus the ad driving to the uh, brand store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's two things to think about. The first thing to think about is who is the customer? Do I have a broad variety of customers buying it? And the second thing to think about is how are they searching? Because I may have a broad variety of customers who are buying a um, you know kitchen cooking sheet, but they all call it a cookie sheet or a baking sheet. And so they're all searching for the same thing, even though they might be buying it for different purposes. And so you have to have both of those things. You have to have both a different set of buyers and a different set of search terms. So with the example with the little gloves, they're searching for carpal tunnel or they're searching for arthritis and it's the same product. So you have different customer plus different search term. If you have different customer plus same search term, send it to the detail page and then make sure that you've got a few of those people in picture somewhere um, or a reference somewhere so that the customer sees themselves. Um, people buy emotionally first and then they validate afterwards that it worked for them. And so you want them to see a picture of themselves or connect to the page in some way. So if, you, if you're just having different customers, but the same search term, then it's really a detail page question most of the time where you're just trying to say, okay, do I have a construction worker picture? Do I have a woman over 50 picture? Do I have someone with their dog? <laughs> like, you know, what, what is it that is the customer that you're trying to reach and make sure that on there somehow, if it's different customer plus different keyword, then you've got to start thinking about, okay, how do I attract these people differently than what's happening on my my detail page and usually then you'd have your detail page focused on the most successful customer avatar and most successful keywords and then you'd have your less successful ones but still making money up on the store and so if i knew that um, pickleball players are my number one target demo and they're searching for a pickleball related keyword for this product and that's the thing that's going to get me the most sales then great i'm going to try to optimize my page for that. I'm going to try to optimize my sponsored products for that. Then what I'm going to do is if there is a tennis or a construction use for this, then I'm going to have different pages for that on my store and then change where I'm sending the money, where I'm sending those ads straight to the store pages, as opposed to sending them to the detail page. I also really like doing this for audience and contextual on sponsored display because audience and contextual are just lower performance in general. And you can get just some amazing engagement rates on sponsored display. Just absolutely amazing. Like kind of the kind of level that you just don't get anywhere else. But the conversion rates are so low that sometimes it can actually tank your listing to spend too much on those kinds of ads. And so those ones, I'm like, off to the store you go. Head <laughs> over to the store. Check out my nice little page here. Um, and so just trying to think about it from a, okay, how is this going to affect my listing? And who am I trying to attract? And if this person is maybe not always my customer, but I can get five, 6% of these people to be interested. Great. Send them to the store.